you like seafood? Seafood. Do you like fish and stuff? Certainly. We're yeah. back for the next video for independent living skills. And today we're going to be at the meat section right now. This is the fish aisle. All of this is making me getting closer to hungry. Right? I got one. These are hamburger patties. Spotted no, fish. Salmon burgers. Oh, it's salmon that burgers. Sounds good. Fish burgers. Yeah, and those are nice too because they're already made for you. You know, sometimes when you buy your own, you to make your own burgers, those are already made and you can just throw that on the grill and make yourself a, a salmon burger. It is a, like a little bit more expensive, like you said, it's $5.99 each for each of those patties, so it's $6. But also, seafood is always going to be more expensive. So you have to like, kind of account for that. You know, maybe it's something you don't eat all the time, but every once in a while you can splurge on, you know. So. Oh, no, we're just looking. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, yeah, so he's already here to help us if he needed it. So, this is what I mean. There's a lot of different types of steak, and we also have some over here. Harris Ranch on your hat. What's Harris Ranch? That's where the beef, the steers come from. Where is it? What city? Uh, Kalinga. Kalinga. Uh -huh. I'll look. I'll look it up at, for this YouTube video. Thank you. Thanks. So here's some other um, steaks and stuff like that. This is probably um, more like what you would buy. Cause also look at so personally, you can buy one steak that way. You can if you're just making it for yourself, you know, which is nice. Um, and also with this kind of thing, it's like if we see the prices per pound. So this is not all going to be four ninety seven. So look at this one is four oh three, and then this one is four seventy seven. You know, whereas these ones look like eight thirty one for this one. It's going to be point six four pounds. Wow. And then this is going to be point eight nine, and it's ten sixty seven. So you know, you're thinking about it too because you don't need. This you know what I mean? So that's what's nice. Possibly the cheapest possibly. Yeah, I mean you could look for cheaper ones, and also depends on the cut too. So we'll get weird have the New York steaks, or you have sirloin steaks, um, really like, York steaks. yeah, so there's a lot of different options, and to be honest with you, I don't even know the difference, there's different cuts of meat from different parts of the animal, but yeah, yeah, so this is interesting because you want to make sure you're paying attention to the actual price on here, because that's what you're going to actually pay, you yes. know, it's per pound, same within the um, produce, when you put things on the scale, you know, we're at, like, The scales for the scale? um, for produce. Somewhat scale. Yeah. Oh, let me show you. I'll show you. Sorry, I know we were running back and forth around here, but <laughs> we're finding our way through the shop. Right? Certainly. how much you're spending you know sometimes it's really hard to estimate like I don't know how many pounds this is you know what I mean so like if you're gonna get apples it's 279 pounds so you can use this scale here that's why it's yeah. easier for your convenience that way you can actually you know so if I wanted to spend 279 I can find other apples you know and, oh and that's like one pound so that means I know I'm gonna spend around 279 yeah you know rather than just picking them up and not and then oh. When you get there, you're like, oh shoot, I didn't mean to spend $15 on apples, you know what I mean? So the so, one in the black is the price. Um, no, that's gonna be, it's just a scale, so that's gonna be pounds. So it just goes from one to 40 pounds. Oh. This stuff in here, the red, you don't have to worry about. Um, so it's out by here, so it's gonna be the price per pound. So yeah, so if you're going up, you know, then. Yeah, so now it's a little over two pounds, so it'd be like 279 times two, you know? Whoa. Yeah. How many letters are in Apple Hill? So A P P L E H I. 
we go to Apple Hill every year um, Friday after Thanksgiving. Oh, really? That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, it's like, okay, exactly five pounds, pretty much. Five pounds, yep. I love Apple Hill. So do I. I do like these ones. These ones are too sour. They are sour me. sometimes. Yeah, I like the sour, but yeah. I know. These ones are the ones they have like at Apple Hill, one of the ones that are really shiny and milky. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Oh, you can come in here. I'll show you those Certainly. This is something that you don't have in every grocery store. Like a lot of them don't have this kind of thing, but this is the way you store. about before with if you're shopping for yourself you know yeah so say like you want to make this recipe but you know and it calls for flour and breadcrumbs but you don't really need that many breadcrumbs yeah you can buy things like this in bulk so you know say like you can find um see if they have but see things like flour right here you know you could take a little bit and just you put it like scoop it in one of these bags over here they're not that's a like there's somewhere around here just bags um over container fill it up and like it says mark with the bid number so that way they have the code so this is a seltzer so you can buy as much as you want so you know if you really like this trail mix here but you don't need to buy the whole bag of it you're just going you want it for like a snack for the day you could get just a little bit of it and then pay that price instead of having to pay for the whole thing you know so this is a really cool thing or you can try different things you say like you're like oh i really want to try out this kind of trail mix but if i don't like it i don't want to buy a huge bag of it you know so it's, this is a really cool spot to be able to buy just like a little bit of something, you know. Um, we have like things like nuts and stuff like that, you know, um, and some snacks. Um, some places, this is a kind of smaller one, some places sort of will have like cereal even, like they have granola and stuff. So it's a kind of a cool thing just so you can buy a little bit without, you know, it's like you're really on a budget but you need to buy flour, you don't want to buy the whole bag, you can just get like a little scoop just for your recipe, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so this is a really awesome feature too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure looks good. <laughs> okay, well what do you do you wanna go um we're finishing the store, yeah? Do you wanna go sit down and talk? Certainly. Okay, great. We can go up to the upstairs on the same thought. Certainly. Okay. I work Tuesday through Friday, oh, right. so I'm off work today on Monday. Oh, okay, awesome. Anyway, YouTube, that's all I have for today. Stay tuned. I'm going to explain to you about my job at FedEx Ground part-time and my mobile food truck part-time this coming weekend. I work on the food truck this Saturday, so stay tuned for this coming Saturday for my two jobs I work for. And have a happy Monday.